Progress tonight in cleaning up an abandoned home in Henderson County, swallowed up by tall grass and thick bushes, a haven for wild animals. We first told you about the neighborhood and that it was dealing with the unwanted mess back in May. News 13's Karen Wynn is there live tonight with more. And Karen, did the city ever come out and clean up the home? Frank, on June the 7th, city workers came out here and mowed the grass at 821 North Oak, but left the thick bushes and trees untouched, and residents say that's a problem. The June 7th lawn mowing job at 821 North Oak is still the talk of the neighborhood. I know it. Riding more they, otherwise they wouldn't have had, uh, gotten the snakes coming across the street. Dorothy Means and Willie Clay say they are thrilled to finally be able to see most of the house again and know many of the rats and snakes are gone. One was uh, even uh, by Annie Mae's mailbox. Mm-hmm. Uh, when she went out, uh, somebody had run over by that time. However, Dorothy and Willie wonder why city workers left the thick bushes alone. Bushes, they say, continue to harbor unwanted critters. I saw a couple of rats uh, about three days ago coming across the street. The rats and snakes had become all too familiar to Dorothy and Willie during the past year. They had hoped the problem would finally be resolved. I think they should have uh, cut the, the bushes down and had an exterminator come out and do something about the rats over there. City manager John Connett says legally the city did all it can. The cleanup ordinance covers mowing grass but not cutting bushes. The property is, has multiple ownership and it's a very complicated ownership so uh, we are in constant contact with the owner's representatives and they're working very diligently to get the house um, sold or transferred. With the ultimate goal of demolishing the house and cleaning up the lot. Meanwhile, Dorothy and Willie have a message for city leaders. Come back and do some more. Uh, we need some of the city leaders to come out here and just see it themselves. Maybe they would like to live here too. <laughs> Now, City Manager John Connett says that the city is going to monitor the lawn and mow it as needed. Live in Hendersonville, I'm Karen Wynn, News 13.